wonderful cause. You got it. And the Rock mm -hmm. Church, of course, has been very busy during this holiday season, trying to make sure that every kid in our community gets a toy, whether their parents have the money to afford it or not. That's right, and that's what Allie is covering for us this morning, the Toys for Joy event. Good morning, Allie. Hey, Hi, Allie. Oh, yeah. oh there's Pastor Miles. Hi, you guys. I said there's good morning. Miles. Hi, good morning. Hi, Miles. Brandy Williams and Dan Plant say good morning first. I, I got to start Brandy, with that. Brandy, Brandy, where you been? I don't see you in the week anymore during the week. Where you been, girl? Well, tell <laughs> you're hanging out on the weekends with me. Know, I'm on the weekends with oh, oh, Allie. I know. Allie, will you please tell him yes. that I watch the live stream on my iPad. I like to get all cozy in bed and watch it on my iPad, and I enjoy that they have that option. She watches the live stream, and she loves it. So, mm -hmm. but today we're yeah. out here at Lincoln High <laughs> School. Did. We're here for the awesome. Toys for Joys drive. So tell me a little bit about it. So 18 years ago, we started doing a, a toy drive here in Southeast San Diego. Now we have three, one here at Lincoln, one at um, uh, El Cajon Valley High School, one at San Marcos Middle School. We now have churches around San Diego. Um, there's 20,000 people, uh, 200,000 people living in poverty in San Diego, about 10,000 homeless people. So we're just trying to spread as much goodwill as we can, especially during this Christmas season when we're trying to remember the birth of Christ. Uh, and we we're just excited about all the volunteers, all the churches. Uh, Bayview uh, Pastor here, Terry Brooks, is here as one of our partners. And we're very excited about all the people we're partnering with to make this happen. And there is a ton of people here. So tell me a little bit of what's going on. We're standing at the main stage, which is where the entertainment's happening, right? Well, they, they get in line, then they come to the stage, they hear the gospel, they have some entertainment. Then they get books. Uh, Macy's donated a lot of books for us this year. We have tons of sponsors. I can't say thank you to all of them. Uh, then they'll go get some toys. We have 10,000 toys here at Lincoln. I think about 5,000 in El Cajon Valley and about 1,500, 1,800 at uh, San Marcos Middle School and they'll get toys and they can go eat. We're going to give them clothes to take home, food to take home, and then they can eat before they even leave. Then all you got to do is wait in line. That seems pretty easy to me. Wait in line. Wait in <laughs> line. Wait in line. Now, and like you said, you've been doing this for so long. I'm sure it just makes you smile to see how many people turn out for this. Yeah, you know, it makes me smile to see how many people volunteer. Mm -hmm. It makes me smile to see the people who, who partner with us. Um, but also, the people who stand in line, They start, some started yesterday at 3 o'clock, and all night they were out here in the rain. Uh, that shows a great need, and, and that's the kind of part that breaks your heart, that there's so many people out here who have such a great need. They will stand in line overnight in the rain to get a toy for their child. So we're blessed to be able to serve them, but at the same time, uh, I wish they didn't have that need. Well, and this is the season for it to be able to help out any way that you can, and I'm sure you guys have been taking tons of donations. Can people still donate to you guys if they want to? Well, the, you know, it's kind of late by the time they get it. We'll, we'll be done, but uh, for next year, definitely. And we thank all the partners like Terry right here. We want to acknowledge the pastors that, that have helped us, and Terry and Bayview Baptist and his people have been out here. Uh, City of Hope, Terrell Fletcher's people are out here. Uh, so we want to thank all those people as well and all the other, I can't name all the churches and all the sponsors, but uh, they've been very helpful to us. And how many people are you expecting? How long are you guys going to be here if people want to come down and wait in line? Uh, I think it'll end around one. Um, we don't know. We, we were thinking last year we had about 10,000 here, maybe uh, 16, 17,000 for the day in all three sites, but we don't know. And uh, of course, I can't, I can't, as the sports, you know, lover that I am, I can't let you go without asking you. Prediction tomorrow, Chargers, Broncos at home. What do you think? Well, the Chargers have no choice but to win. I mean, they, they don't have a choice. The Broncos are good. The Broncos are hot. We have no choice. We have to win the game. So we're going to win the game. All right. See, that's what I like to hear. He's saying they're going to win the game. They're going to win the game. I believe you. You know, he knows what's up. All right, guys, I'm going to send it back to you, Brandy. All right, Miss Allie, I'm just falling in love with Lisa out here. Look at Lisa. She's 